38 weeks pregnant and no baby yet. <laughs> Hi, my name is Allison Kay and welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before and if it's your first time then I just wanna say hi, welcome. Um, feel free to subscribe if you like pregnancy and baby content because we're getting close to this baby coming. Um, so that is what I'll be sharing, you know, in the future. <laughs> and continuing to share some like home things, life style, just whatever. Um, but today, for this video, it is my 38 week pregnancy update and I'll just, maybe I can just stand, yeah, to show you guys the bump. <laughs> um, so baby boy is doing well, um, his name is John, if you didn't know, and he's just chilling. <laughs> um, I think he's pretty comfortable, but we'll get into that in a little bit here. Um, so I have my notes with me and I just kind of jotted down. Um, a little bit about him. I'm guessing he was around seven, seven and a half pounds this week. I don't know for sure, but um, I my apps kind of gave that range and just based on like my previous ultrasounds and appointments and things, I would guess he's somewhere around seven, seven and a half pounds and probably somewhere around 19 to 20 inches. We'll see how long he is when he comes out. Some babies are born at 18, 19 inches. Some babies are like 21 inches long. So we'll see. Um, his dad is tall, so maybe he will be tall long too I don't know um but his heart rate at my appointment was about 150 beats per minute so that was good and my belly um is measuring at it was my 38 week appointment and I measured at 37 centimeters so just about on track for that um no big deal <laughs> and so that's all it is for him that's all I had to share um the one like main app that I well I use the bump app and the um Ovia pregnancy app and I don't remember what the Ovia app said but the bump app was saying that he's the size of a winter melon not a watermelon a winter melon <laughs> so I don't know what that is um, but he's about seven pounds and about 19 inches long so <laughs> he's like a full-term baby and I think that I am officially full-term at this point so um, that's really cool maybe not quite but I'm pretty close if not um, so I just wanted to scoot a little closer here and let you guys know that, or get into my my stuff I guess, but I will let you guys know um, how my appointment went, which was, it was fine. It wasn't the most encouraging just because I had gone from one centimeter one week to two centimeters the next week and 70% of face, and my doctor said I was about the same this week at this appointment, so I was a little bit, I don't want to say disappointed really, I was just kind of bummed, you know, I was like, oh, I was hoping to be progressed even farther but that was not the case so oh well um I feel like I have to burp sorry <laughs> the glamorous of a pregnant woman and also yeah you're getting kind of scruffy Allison today um because I'm 38 weeks pregnant I'm tired and <laughs> this is how I'm looking I'm gonna just be at home all day and I might go on a walk and I'm just organizing the house and cleaning so this is my look um but yeah still about the same and with that appointment um, my doctor asked if I wanted a membrane sweep and I said, yeah, so I'm not trying to like make him come early, but if he wants to come, he's totally welcome to. And so I thought, you know what? The membrane sweep will just kick things into action. Um, my doctor was like, I'm on call this day and this day if you need me. <laughs> um, so unfortunately that did not pan out, but I tried it and it was uncomfortable. Here's the, here's the deal the T, the scoop on a membrane sweep. A lot of people will say they're very uncomfortable, painful, terrible, whatever. They are very uncomfortable, but um, it's not really that painful. It's just a lot of pressure. And personally, I have been through some weird stuff from my surgeries last year. Um, at one point I had stitches all up in my lady parts and they tore and I was bleeding. So I'd have someone literally shove packing up in me. I know it's very, like aggressively descriptive and I'm sorry but it's true <laughs> and so this was better than that was and um I, I should probably cut all of that out I don't know if I will or not <laughs> I probably won't um but yeah it's just it's uncomfortable membrane sweeps are uncomfortable but they aren't the worst thing ever you can get through it 
it's no biggie. So, anyway, um, but it did not put me into labor this time. But I'm hoping at my 39 week appointment um, that I will get one again and it might actually do it. So, we'll see. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> um, but I have been losing more mucus. I started losing my mucus plug last week, as you guys know. And um, it's just, yeah, there's even been some bloody show a little bit, but just lots of mucusy discharge. Like every day I see it, um, but to some extent, whether it's a lot or a little, um, but just nothing else has really been happening. But that does mean that my cervix is dilating. So I'm hoping that this week maybe I'll be more progressed. I've been doing all of the things. I have been bouncing on the yoga ball, going on walks. Um, I've even eaten a little bit of spicy food. I have had the um, red raspberry leaf tea and I've been eating dates every day. So I'm doing what I can. I'm also just um, waiting. <laughs> so what more can I do? Um, sorry, these hairs are driving me crazy. But yeah, other than that, oh, well, I guess there is a little bit of a story. There was this one situation where uh, this one day, it was my birthday this last week and Luke and I were hanging out with his parents. We were celebrating my birthday. Um, and we were running home after that, and then we were going to go run somewhere else. We had another, we actually had a rehearsal for a wedding and a rehearsal dinner. Um, and so we were coming home to get ready for that, and I really had to go to the bathroom. Um, but that can be a sign of labor coming on, you know, like when it's, when it's really bad. Um, and I was really crampy. My back was crampy. My front was crampy. It was just like a lot of pain. Um... <laughs> And I just went to the bathroom and felt better. I thought I was going into labor potentially because it was so rough and that can be a sign of labor and I was just freaked out a little bit. It was nothing that I know of. And so, because he's still in here, um, let's see, one, two, like four or five days after that. So <laughs> that's all I have to share today. I shared a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the TMI, all the information. Um, but that was my little labor scare. And I did not go into labor, so we'll see. I don't know. Maybe week 39 will be the week. Maybe it'll be week 40. Maybe it'll be week 41. I don't know, but he's coming out soon, so stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless, and I will see you guys later. Bye.